You're watching 13 News at 530. We have some breaking news. And we're getting some new information at 530 about that shooting that involved Metro Police and Indiana State Police. Our Emily Longnecker's at the scene right now at 40th and Keystone. Emily, what's going on now? Well, Felicia and Scott, that's right. Um, IMPD just confirmed to us that at least one of their officers was involved with whatever happened here at 40th in Keystone. We know Indiana State Police put out a tweet about 30 minutes ago saying that there had been some kind of shooting and at least two of their state troopers had been involved, that those troopers were okay. Now, we, I can tell you just from being here at the scene where kind of a crowd is gathering, we're not going to pan all the way across the scene, and that is because there is uh, a person that we can see that is um, lying on the ground, um, not moving. So um, one can assume that that, that 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 is the result of whatever has happened here, this police involved shooting. Now, uh, how folks came to be here, we still don't know. We are still waiting on a spokesperson from the Indiana State Police. You know, I can tell you that IMPD and the Indiana State Police, they have been involved in a joint venture recently to try and put an end to these street takeovers that have been happening in the past six months. Now, we don't know if this was part of that kind of investigation, but we, we just talked with IMPD yesterday about that, about this joint venture, about Indiana State Police and IMPD uh, working together because, you know, uh, for the past six months, they've been seeing hundreds of cars, mostly on the weekends, coming to streets and effectively taking them over, stopping traffic and, and, and people spinning out. So they were having this kind of uh, joint venture where they were trying to put an end to that, and both IMPD and the Indiana State Police said that they had made several arrests in the past week and recovered some some stolen vehicles. But again, we don't know that this is part of that, but it bears mentioning because here we have Indiana State Police and IMPD in the same area. Again, we are waiting on an Indiana State Police spokesperson to tell us how, how this all went down. Uh, but uh, Indiana State Police confirming that the troopers involved in this, their troopers are OK, and IMPD uh, telling us that at least one of their officers was involved. Scott, Felicia. Yeah.